Welcome back to Bourbons of the Century so far. I'm Fred Minnick and I've been counting down my favorite bourbons of the century. I'm very fortunate that I've had the opportunity to taste all of these and more. And what I've done is, is I've taken my tasting nuts over the years and I've compiled them and I've compared them to how they did in competition. And the one that came in at number nine, I think was probably the fan favorite. You can see these comments coming in from people as I posted it. This thing had won so many consumer blind competitions. The Booker's 25th anniversary was absolutely insanely delicious. I also think that it might have been a once in a lifetime kind of flavor because most of that Booker's is coming out at six to seven years old right now. So Booker's, if you're watching this from heaven, maybe call in a favor to your uh, your son and grandson. Start putting out some 10 year old castrate product because you know what? We love it. Come on, Jim Beam, you know you can do it. Give us some more 10 year old cast drink. Mm, so good. Okay, enough of what came in at number 10. Now it's time for number nine. Bourbons of the century. At number nine, the 2017 Buffalo Trace Antique Collections, William LaRue Weller. Now, when I tasted and scored this for Whiskey Advocate in 2017, it was the editor's choice of that issue, and I scored it a 95. Now, here's the thing about tasting whiskey and scoring whiskey. Sometimes you go back to a whiskey after you've already reviewed it, and you're like, damn, I like that even more. So I ended up tasting the 2017 up against all the other William LaRue Wellers, and this is the one that I picked as my favorite. Now, I did that blind at home, did not really take that many notes on it. I just kind of did it, and I just polished off all my Weller that one time. It was fantastic. And so the 2017 won that blind taste off of all the Wellers that I had. And I will say this about the 2017 release. It had spice to it when all the other William LaRue Wellers tend to be more on that kind of sweeter side. So I think the reason why this one stands out to me so much on the palate is that it had an extra layer of spice after all of that sweetness. Now, there's absolutely no chance you can find this on the shelves. This is one of those products that sells out immediately, but this isn't the best available bourbons of the century. This is the best bourbons of the century, period. And at number nine, a very worthy one that could have been number one on somebody's list is William LaRue Weller. So congratulations to Buffalo Trace for having yet another bourbon make my list. Now, coming in at number eight, mm, it's a good one. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. 